Welcome to Learning with Mo. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at just some different options for viewing data that has a lot of columns. So here's just some financial data. We have the segment, country, product, discount band. And if you've ever worked with a data set like this, you can scroll to the right and you can see there's a lot of columns in here. We have up to column P. So this can kind of make it very difficult to work with this data set. Now, in reality, you may not need to incorporate all of these columns when you're analyzing the data. I was working with a city employee, and this particular employee had about 52 columns of data. And I watched this employee just kind of navigated back and forth just to try and analyze the data. And the case in point was, well, you could just hide the columns that you are not using for the moment. And then we took it a step further. You can actually just create some different views and then you can click on a button that will allow you to switch back and forth between the different views. So this is where when you click on the view tab, you'll see the custom views appear here. And it tells us right there, save your current display settings as a custom view that you can quickly apply in the future. So what I would like to do is as I'm analyzing this data, I always want to be able to see the segment, the country, the product, and then after that, I just need, need to go ahead and decide what I want to see. Maybe the unit sold, maybe the gross sales, and maybe the profit in here as well. I can choose any columns or even rows that I want to include in my view. So I'll start off just by creating a standard view. So just a caution, this only works with lists. If you have a table on any of your sheets, the custom views will not work. This will be grayed out. Let's see, I'll go ahead and convert this to a table really quickly. And if I click on the view tab, you can see it's been grayed out. So you cannot have any tables there. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And now you can see it's no longer a table. I can go ahead and use the custom view. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on custom views here. Now when you're setting up your custom view, what you can see here is exactly what this view will provide for you. I'll go ahead and click add and I'll just call this one standard. Just everything is visible, nothing is hidden. I'll go ahead and press OK. So the next time I come back to this worksheet, if I click on custom views, I can always show the standard view. Well, as an example, I want to just make analyzing the data in here a little more efficient. So I'm going to choose the columns that I want to remove or just hide from my actual view. So again, segment is fine, country is fine, product is fine. The discount band, I'll go ahead and highlight that column. I don't want the manufacturing price, so I can hold down the control key and I'll select column F. I don't want the sale price. I'll keep gross sales. I don't want the discounts. So I'm still holding down the, the control key here and I can just keep on highlighting the columns that I want to go ahead and hide. Um, so for this one, I want the units sold, gross sales, and the profit. So I'll go ahead and remove all of the other rows. I don't need the date in here. I don't need the month number. I'll scroll over to the right. I don't need the month name or the year as well. So I've highlighted those columns and I'm going to right click on any one of them and I can simply hide those columns. So I'll go ahead and click on hide. And here's a simplified view, just the segment, the country, the product, units sold, gross sales, and profit. I want to lock in this view. So I'll click on custom views here and I'll click on add and I'll just call this big three. So these are the big three that I want to be able to focus on. Unit sold, gross sales, and profit. I'll go ahead and press OK. So there you go. Here's my second view. Well, let's see how this works. Once I click back on custom views, I should have two views there, big three and standard. I'll go back to standard and click on show. And as you can see, it reveals all the columns. There are no hidden columns or any hidden rows. Everything is there. But if I decide I just want to focus on my big three, I can click on custom views, click on big three and click on show. 
and it's hidden all those different columns for me that are not relevant for what I'm currently doing right now. So that's how we can use custom views. This is a great example of how just to simplify your data analysis. Another reason would be, well, sometimes you just want to hide specific rows and or columns to hide some sensitive data. But whatever you need is, this is a great tool to be able to just simplify your data analysis. So that is custom views in a nutshell. Good to go.